<gasps> oh no, Tramp! You're going to get the clothes dirty! <gasps> Miss, what's wrong? I just wanted to buy some clothes. Look, I don't care what you're here for, but you're scaring away customers. You stink! <gasps> Filthy! Please, please, enough! Barbara, what's going on? What's with all the screaming? Can't you see this ragtag came in? I'm not doing anything, really. I just wanted to buy some clothes. Okay, Barbara, I'm going to ask you to please calm down, all right? The young lady just wants to buy some clothes. Daniel, are you taking her side, for God's sake? Barbara, I'm not taking sides. I'm just treating a customer the way they should be treated, regardless of how they're dressed. <gasps> I'm going to tell the boss, and she'll kick you out on the street. You know what the street is, right? Damn cockroach. Miss, I apologize on behalf of my co-worker, but she sometimes exhibits unpleasant behavior. So, how about I assist you and show you a couple of items that arrived this morning? I'm sure you'll find something you love. Sure. Thank you very much. Please, go ahead, after you. You're going to pay for this, damn idiot. This won't stay like this. <sighs> well, all of these are new arrivals. I hope you find something you like. <sighs> Miss, I apologize again, but my co-workers are sometimes... Well, they don't exhibit entirely pleasant behavior. So please, stay calm, and I'll help you find the perfect dress. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, she's really rude, but in the end, bad people get what they deserve. Of course, I understand. In fact, I wanted to ask if you found something you'd like. Yes, actually, I want this dress. I really love it. It's beautiful. And I'll take this one. Very well. Let me show it to you. Hold on. Don't touch this dress. Don't you see how much it costs? Clearly, you can't afford it, stupid. Uh, Barbara, please calm down, okay? The young lady wants that dress, and she's going to pay for it. This dress was requested by a customer, and I already set it aside. I'll show it to you, miss. Daniel, enough with the charity work. Good grief. You'll make a fool of yourself when you try to charge for it. Let go, Barbara. Miss, are we going to be ready to pay? Yes, of course. Perfect. I'll bring the bill in a moment. Excuse me. Oh, miss, I didn't ask you. Uh, will you be paying in cash or card? <laughs> Daniel, for God's sake, with a card, can you imagine? It's going to be with dirty money for sure. In cash, please. Oh, uh, miss, this is a lot of money. I think half of it should be enough. Oh, don't worry. Keep the change. You deserve it. Wait a minute. I'm not understanding something. Where did you steal that money, raggedy woman? Who are you, and where do you come from? Look, I have no need to steal. And to answer your question... Ah, ah, Miss Priseda, it's you! That's right, me, the owner of this place. Miss Priseda, what a surprise! What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, what a good joke, boss! Do you want coffee, water... Oh, shut up, Barbara. Don't dig yourself into a deeper hole. Uh, all of this was just a test. A test? That's right. I wanted to take the time to visit all the branches in the city dressed like this. To see how my employees would react when they saw me and what kind of people I have working for me. And oh, what a surprise I got. Oh, boss, I apologize. I don't know why I acted like that. I don't know, I Shut apologize. up, shut up, you're fired. And for you, congratulations, you're the new manager of this branch. Because you're a great and kind-hearted man, and that's the kind of people I want working for me. What a surprise for me. Thank you very much. I'm sure I won't, I won't disappoint you. I know. What are you waiting for? Get out! Get out! If you don't want me to call the police, leave! 